Good morning. It's Monday. This is Miss Anne. It is June 8th. This is the start of the last week of school for the 2019-2020 school year. So, um, we're going to do a special week. We're going to do Ocean Week. Um, we are going to do a scene of an ocean, which would be underwater, with no fish for the first day. And then tomorrow we're going to do a clownfish or two, which is, uh, what is a clownfish? Uh, Finding Nemo. Nemo is a clownfish. Uh, Wednesday we're going to do an octopus. I've never drawn an octopus before, so I had to figure out how to do that. Thursday is a whale. And Friday is an unknown. Um, we may be to do a seahorse. Um, we'll figure it out. So, let's get started. We are going to do, um, this is a seam. I'm going to make sure you guys can see it. So, um, this line is the water line. So everything below is the ocean and then everything above is the sky. So you can see that the colors are very similar. Um, so what I did was I just drew some wavy lines across the page and then I used a couple different colors. I used blue and then I used green, some green. I this is the bottom of the ocean. It's sandy at this point. And what colors would I use for sand? Sand is kind of gold color. So I used yellow and brown. I used brown. Um, let's see. Then we have a some, some underwater plants. Um, these are just circles. These are easy to draw. It's a line with circles going back and forth like that. And we've got some grass. And we can make different colors um, for the... They look like flowers. Then this is an underwater cave. And I used... Uh, I just used the drawing pencil for that. And I think I added purple. I'm not sure what color I added there. So this is... And then the sun, of course. The sun is yellow. And then I just made some colors, different colors, yellows and oranges and reds. And I think I added purple there too. So, and then we're going to draw some fish that are going to swim through it. So, um, we'll do that. We'll start the fish tomorrow. Okay, so let's get a piece of paper out. And, oh, I wanted to show you this. I was going to show it to you on Friday, but I forgot. We did the poison dart fish. No, the poison dart frog. And this is a, just a little frog I did, um, I don't know, earlier, probably in April. It's a frog. He's wearing a tutu, or she's wearing a tutu. Just something silly. Okay, so let's put this back. <clears throat> All right, let's get some paper. And we're doing a seascape. So we're going to have the paper go across like this. So it's going to be long like that. It's not going to be, if we were doing a portrait of a fish. We would probably do it this way. But we're doing a seascape. So let's look for our um, one of our drawing pencils. And since we're going to have more water than sky, let's make the water line up here. And let's just do kind of a wavy line like this. And we could actually do some waves like that. How do we make waves? Curl and then we curl back. Okay, like that. Okay. And then we're just going to draw some not straight lines, just some curvy lines all the way down the page. This just to show that the water is flowing. Just around. Okay, so how many lines do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the bottom of the ocean would be sand. So we're going to draw, it doesn't, it's, it's definitely not straight. So just some sort of line across like that. Excuse me. 
And then um, let's draw our cave. Our cave is going to be, it's kind of a, let's look at the cave. What shape is that? Let's just look at the shape above it. Um, hmm. It's like an upside down U, isn't it? But with jaggy for, jaggy for the rocks. So let's just kind of go like that. And then to make it a K, we want another circle or another line like that. How's that? Does that look good? All right. Ooh, it's kind of chilly. It's kind of weird. It's chilly out this morning. I'm sitting inside my den, and I have all the windows open, and I'm kind of chilly. Okay, so let's draw. We're going to draw these kind of, they look like flowers. And they grow underwater. So we're going to draw some lines. Maybe three. One, two, three. And then we're going to draw circles on either side. One there, one there. We're going to get really good at circles because we're drawing a lot of circles. Let's see. They don't have to be perfect. But they line up side by side like that. Do the same. This one is bent because the water's pushing it. Let's see. And we could pick any color for these. Um, what colors did I use? I used green, kind of a red, and yellow. But you know, we could do. We could close our eyes and pick the colors. But they had to be bright colors. So let's do that. Let's first fix this. Finish this. Okay. And then this one. Mm. Lots of circles. And then let's just draw some grass. And grass is easy to draw. It's just a line that goes up, goes down. Yeah. That's seagrass. And that'll be green. Okay. So let's draw, let's color in um, the flowers or whatever they actually are. They're just um, underwater plants. I don't know. So we're going to do um, three colors. And if it has to be a bright color. So let's pick. Should we close our eyes and pick? I'm going to close my eyes and pick, but they have to be bright. Okay, one, two, three. Are they bright? I can't tell because I'm closing my eyes. Do I have three? One, two, three. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what they are. Oh, okay. Well, this is okay. That's kind of yellow, orange. White's not good, so let's put that back. Let's pick another color. Let's see. Ooh, blue. That's a pretty color. Okay. Then these are the colors of our underwater plants. Okay. So let's get started. Just put yellow. I'm just the way I do this is I draw a circle with yellow and then I just color it in. It's an easy way. To get it done. Circled and colored in. Circle, colored in. This is kind of a, a what color is this? This is yellow with a little bit of orange. This doesn't say what it is. It's kind of gold. Yellow with a little bit of orange, a little bit of brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. That looks good. Okay, so I'm going to put that back. This is kind of pinky. Kind of red. red. It says red carmine. I don't know what that means, but it's kind of pinky. Now these circles are bigger. Let me sharpen this. 
It's a really soft pencil. Good. Okay, then this is going to be blue. Now what am I do? I'm going to do the circle. Eh. I do all the circles, and I'm going to lightly just fill in the rest. I'll show you when I'm done. So, what I can do, is this going to work? Yeah. I could do it like this. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of soft. Eh, it's okay. Does that look okay, the way I'm doing it? I'm not doing each one individually. I'm kind of going back and forth. Hmm. I don't know. Does that look alright? Does that look as neat as this? Eh, probably. Okay. Let's find green for the seagrass. So we're going to use this blue again. Um, where's my green? Let's see. Is this green? Yeah. Where's my other green? I have a nicer green. Here's my better green. I think this green is more like your green. Okay, so let's just color here. Look good. It looks really good. Okay, so let's get started with. Um, well, since we're here, we might as well do this. Um, let's do the cave. Now, the cave, we're just going to use our regular pencil, like our drawing pencil. Um, I'm going to outline it more, make it darker. And caves are generally made out of rocks, so we're going to just go use our side. And it's going to show up as what color? It's gray. And then we'll probably add some color to it. So let's get the base gray. How's that look? Does that look okay? add um, some green on top of that because sometimes I think they're kind of mossy. I'm making that up actually. I don't know what they are, but let's just add some green. <laughs> see how that looks. Can you see I'm adding green? Does it look okay? Yeah, it looks more cavey. How's that look? Does that look good? Cool. Okay, so how are we going to do the ocean? We're going to take a blue pencil, and we must use this color since we have it out. We're going to draw with blue, we're going to cover like over the lines that we just drew in our drawing pencil. I'll make sure you can see this because after I check my video, sometimes I see that I completely cut you off. Let's see, it's there. Kind of fun doing this, isn't it? Just nice lines that are wavy for the ocean. Oh, you know what I saw? We saw, was it Friday night? I think it was Friday night. Or was it Saturday night? There was frogs on my patio. Yeah. It was just sitting, it was like kind of stuck. It, well, it wasn't really stuck, but it was behind a wall. And I think we were making him nervous, so I told my son we had to leave because I wanted the frog to be able to 
go back into the grass or the woods were behind my house. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the side of our pencil and we're gonna cover this whole area with blue. Let's make sure our line is here too. Okay. Make sure you can see that. Yeah, okay. So let's just go sideways on our pencil with our pencil. And we're not doing it really dark, we're just doing very lightly so that we can see the, the darker blue lines that we've drawn. Just back and forth. Closer to the plants, we have to be a little more careful, don't we? Because we don't want to cover them. Because we did such a good job at coloring them. What is under there? Goop. Okay. Detail here, Let's get up close to the cave. Oh. That looks okay. I think it looks okay. Okay, what's going on here? Now, this section we need to be a little more careful. We just can't go back and forth, back and forth. So we have to be very detailed like that. And then, oh, uh, you know what? I don't know if we should have made this blue because it just kind of blends in. Hmm. We could change that color. You know what we could do? We can make it purple. Mm hmm. How do we make it purple? How do we change blue to purple? Let's get this out. Okay, so we blue and we want to make it purple. So, what color would we add? We'd add red. Yes, we would. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to do that after we finish this blue. Because it just kind of blends in, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. So let's make this purple. No, this purple by adding red. You know, I always have a hard time finding my red. <laughs> I don't know why. Is this red? This is red. Okay, so let's add red on top of it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that color. It's a pretty color, purple. So let's just go back and forth with red. Okay, oh, this. So this could be either an inside of a cave and it'd be really dark, or it could be like a, like a bridge so the water would be underneath there. So we'd make it like a bridge so a fish can swim through it. Why don't we do that? So let's get that blue back. What do I do with that blue? I don't know. Was this blue I used? I don't know. I think it is. Now, should it be darker blue um, because it's underneath the cave or like the bridge that we made? How do we make um, dark blue? What color do we add to blue to make it a little darker? <laughs> to make blue a little darker, we're going to add a little bit of orange. 
which seems very strange, but it, it will work. So where's my orange? Is this orange? Yeah, so let's add just a little bit of orange. Okay, so what color is this? This was the sand. So the sand is yellow. Um, it's kind of golden color. Hang on. Ah, oh, I'm drinking my tea. Uh, so let's get our yellow out. Is that yellow? That's really not yellow. I had to organize my crayons. They're my pencils. Is this yellow? Yeah, this is a nice yellow. Okay. So let's color this. With yellow, and then we're gonna add a little bit of brown. Where's my brown? Does anybody see it? Is this brown? It's brown. I don't know what it is. Um, hmm. What's this? This is brown. Okay. So let's add a little bit of brown. Oh, let's see. Doesn't it look like sand now? Yeah. So we know that yellow and brown make a nice sand color. Okay, so what about the sky? We could make the sun like in the corner and it could be coming down. So it's, it's, um, it's at a sunset. So let's make a nice round circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe just like a quarter of a circle. So the circle would have been all the way around. Oh, the dog's up, I hear the dog. All right. Should make some rays come out. Let's make some sun rays like that. And then this would be blue. Would it be the same blue? I think we only have one blue in our um, colored pencils. So I think I, I have more blue because I, I don't know where I, I have all these colored pencils from various places. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to make it a little lighter than the ocean. Okay, so be careful here because we don't want to cover over the blue here because if we cover blue over yellow what color will it make what a blue what does blue and yellow make did you say green that's what i thought you said yes it makes green okay cool i like that okay so just to make it look sunsetty let's throw some orange in there Okay, so tomorrow, let me see our plan, what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a clownfish. And what color is our clownfish? We're gonna use white, which we're not gonna use white, it's just the, the paper. Um, orange, and I think black, I think. That's what the colors are. Um, octopuses, I don't know what colors those are. I think they're black, gray. Whales are gray. We'll add some color, and Friday's a super secret one. So, it's so super secret, I don't even know what it's going to be. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. Thanks. Bye.